Dear learners, today we are going to deal about EDI model and disadvantages of EDI model. Introduction Electronic data interchange, which is also known as EDI, is the most generally used B2B e commerce technology today, which encompasses the computer to computer exchange of business documents such as purchase orders and invoices in a standard electronic format between business partners across many industries such as retail, banking, manufacturing, high tech and services since the 1980s and it remains a game changer. Before business partners exchange information, they must first agree on the specific EDI standard and version that will be used for EDI transmission since each business has unique requirements and standards which suits their specific industry and region. Currently, there are several different types of EDI that are tailored to the needs of each business but in order to achieve the benefits of EDI, the businesses involved must aim to be as tightly integrated as possible with each other. Learning objectives. By the end of this module, one will be able to come to know how business is carried through EDI, have in-depth knowledge about the different types of EDI model, recognize the benefits and limitations of each type of EDI, to know the overall disadvantages of EDI model about the overview of business process model through EDI. A business process is a collection of linked tasks which results in the delivery of a service or product to a client at the end. It includes the following tasks such as extraction of data from the sender database, formatting of the data into the EDI standard format, Encryption of the data to provide security. Transmitting data through the chosen communication medium to the trading partner. Decryption of the data on receival. Translation of the data from the EDI format to text file format. Uploading of the data into the business partner's database. Acknowledgement on receival of the document. The communication medium involves different types of EDI which is to be discussed in the subsequent section. Types of EDI model Throughout the world, businesses large and small alike are increasingly adding, expanding and modernizing their EDI communications and the most popular include EDI value added networks which is known as WAN. Direct ADI, typically via AS2 and FTP, and internet based EDI. Hence, the different types of EDI model can be generalized into three main categories namely, WAN based EDI, Direct EDI or Software based EDI, Internet based EDI. Now, let us discuss about WAN based EDI. A value added network WAN is a private hosted service that allows businesses to send and share data in a secure manner with its counterparties. Value added networks facilitate electronic data interchange between companies and simplify the communication process by reducing the number of parties with which the company needs to communicate. 
The WAN accomplishes this by acting as an intermediary between business partners and is set up with audit facilities so that the data being exchanged can be formatted correctly and validated before it is transferred to other parties. The EDI WAN was born out of the need for companies to easily and affordably exchange EDI messages with multiple recipients thus providing a valuable service especially to smaller businesses. Now let's see about the working of an EDI WAN. EDI WAN is nothing more than an electronic commercial version of the postal service because an EDI WAN receives mail from senders, sorts it for internet recipients and delivers the mail to the recipient's mailbox. In general, EDI WAN transmits electronic EDI messages instead of paper mail using electronic mailbox for each trading partner using the EDI WAN services through a direct dial-up connection or other types of internet connections. EDI WAN usually allows each customer to pick up the messages they receive as well as to drop off outgoing messages typically allowing 24 hour per day, 7 day per week access to electronic mailbox thus eliminating a number of problems associated with communicating the trading partners. For most businesses, their first exposure to EDI will be through an EDI van, but now due to the adoption of new technologies has changed, the EDI van has become an aggregator of small businesses. EDI van charges by the volume of EDI data sent, the cost of using an EDI van will vary with how much EDI data is sent, but allows for seamless and automated communication channels between trading partners while offering multiple formats for EDI translation which in turn results in a proficient and effective supply chain management across all kinds of industries in which cases scalability is fundamental. Advantages of EDI WAN EDI WANs usually audit both incoming as well as the outgoing data to detect errors eliminating manual processing. EDI WANs allow for the use of multiple protocols to send data and for each trading partner to employ the data format best suited for their organization and significantly faster than other means of data transfer as data is exchanged directly from one business software to another. Secure and reliable communication channels because EDI WANs are highly secure and meet HIPAA security standards. With the 24 by 7 unrestricted accessibility of the EDI WAN, the exchange of data to anywhere in the world is done with no time constraints or disruption to daily business operations. They provide visibility tools which allow the delivery status of data and some corresponding workflows allowing companies to better coordinate dependent activities through the system instead of exchanging phone calls and emails. Disadvantages of EDI WAN The advent of the internet has tapered the attraction of WANs largely due to cost considerations involving to pay the minimum monthly fees and per character charges included in typical WAN contracts. As the transaction volumes increase, EDI cost will go up significantly as well as tack on additional fees for exceeding specified transaction volumes. Many EDI WANs offer a web portal known as the web EDI to manually enter information for a document such as an invoice to view incoming documents from trading partners etc. And 
if this information is to be stored into the backend ERP system, one has to manually enter it into the ERP which become tedious, time consuming and error riddled. The next type of EDI is the direct EDI or software based EDI. Direct EDI which is also called software based EDI has been used by companies for years as an alternative to an EDI WAN. When direct EDI is used, an organization must communicate with each business partner individually which means to manage hundreds or thousands of separate connections or to establish a single secure line between two business partners. Both the business partners can connect directly via the internet using the same communication method or protocol but becomes very complex and resource intensive if different business partners are using different communication protocols which is the norm in most trading communities and so the system must be able to handle all of these different required protocols. Hence, direct EDI is generally used by large corporations that have business partners with whom they exchange a high volume of EDI documents frequently since, since one need to purchase a software package that enables to use all the agreed upon protocols such as AS2 FTP. Then the business partners have to agree with each on which of the communication methods or protocols to use, the specific protocol settings to be used when exchanging EDI documents. Popular communication methods involved in direct EDI AS2. AS2 is one of the most popular methods for transporting EDI data securely and reliably over the internet and essentially involves a client and a server connected in a point to point manner via the internet. AS2 creates an envelope for the EDI data so that the data can be sent securely using digital certificates and encryption over the internet. Example Walmart. Direct EDI via AS2 requires the receiving organization server to be always listening out for messages addressed to it because the message will be missed if the server is not available to take the call. Hence, the organizations decided to use an EDI network provider to provide AS2 connectivity and thus always be available to receive the EDI transmissions with the following features. The provider handles the exchange of AS2 setup information and AS2 testing for both the partners. EDI documents are exchanged in real time. File transfer protocol with virtual private network. File transfer protocol FTP was the first robust reliable document transfer protocol developed and is still used by many businesses even today particularly for exchange of documents within an organization. However, FTP by itself does not provide the security needed for exchange of files with other organizations over the internet. Hence, businesses that use FTP use it in conjunction with virtual private network known as VPN software for providing the security needed. Now let us see about the advantages of direct EDI. Direct EDI is significantly less expensive, larger number of transactions are involved. Direct EDI generally support all the major standards that business partners use to send and receive documents via a full range of messaging protocol and formats. Direct EDI allows 
integrating with the backend systems such as ERP to automatically move data between the EDI system and the applications eliminating manual data entry and the error prone processes that come with it. Disadvantages of Direct EDI Direct EDI via AS2 requires the receiving organization server to be always active else the incoming messages would be missed. Neither FTP by itself nor FTP with VPN provides non-reputation nor any confirmation to the sender that the documents have been successfully received and decrypted. Moreover, interoperability may be an issue because there are possible differences in versions of VPN but it can be used to connect to an EDI network service provider which then provides the non-reputation message management and interoperability requ required. The next is the internet based EDI. Recently, internet based EDI also known as web based EDI is becoming very popular. EDI was conducted on private communication networks. Today, however, EDI messages are often sent and received over the public internet. The reasoning behind this shift is largely economical. Internet based EDI does not require a separate communication infrastructure. It can be also done without relying on a value added network or WAN, an intermediate that takes responsibility for ensuring that all EDI messages are formatted properly and reach their intended destinations. As the trend towards internet based EDI has grown, however, companies are discovering this new method of exchanging business documents is not necessarily as easy or as inexpensive as they expected. The reality is that using the internet doesn't make things necessarily easier or harder, just different. Essentially, transitioning to the internet simply means a company ends up trading one set of challenges for another. Now, let's see how internet based EDI works. The key operational aspect of internet based EDI is merely to use existing communication protocols available on the internet to exchange EDI data. Internet based EDI uses the SMTP the email protocol or the HTTPS and secure FTP communication protocols to exchange data. These communication channels used to send and receive internet based EDI are often referred by us. These communication channels used to send and receive internet based EDI are often referred to by a set of acronyms that were established in the mid 90s. Accordingly, when using SMTP for internet based EDI, the terminology used commonly is AS1 while HTTPS is AS2 and secure FTP is known as AS3. Types of internet based EDI The various types of the internet can assist EDI in various ways. Email can be used to transport EDI messages in place of a van. To achieve this, standards for encapsulating the messages within secure internet mail extension also known as SMIME are established. An extranet can be established by a company to enable its trading partners to enter information into a web form, the fields of the form would correspond to the fields in an EDI message or document. Companies can use a web based EDI hosting service in the same way they rely on third parties to host their e-commerce sites.
Netscape Enterprise is an example of web-based EDI software that enables a company to provide its own EDI services over the internet. Harbinger Express is an example of a company that provides third-party hosting services. To ease integration among business partners, internet-based EDI is often XML-based. Now, let's discuss about the advantages of internet-based EDI. Whether you run a small business or a large enterprise, using internet-based EDI makes more sense. Below are some of the advantages. No software management. With internet-based EDI, contrary to traditional EDI software, you don't have to worry about installation or configuration. You also don't have to worry about updates because the EDI provider will do that for you. This gets rid of all technicalities from the software components of EDI. Lower cost. Since all-in-one EDI providers usually offer web-based EDI software, the cost of the software is already included in the monthly service rate. Alternatively, purchasing the software to set up an internet EDI system would be more costly upfront. Nevertheless, the actual cost savings comes in the form of the time you save yourself or the labor cost associated with paying someone to set up and configure the software for your firm. Mobile friendly. We have finally reached a point where running a business from a mobile phone is not only realistic, it's also practical thanks to smartphones, digital fax services and cloud storage. Any mobile device with a web browser can run web-based EDI software. You will get the same mobile experience on different mobile platforms such as iOS, Android, etc. because web-based EDI software doesn't require any particular app to be used. Hence, all of your EDI transactions can be managed and accessed from a mobile device anytime, anywhere. The cloud. The cloud stores the software and all of the EDI data, so you don't have to use any storage space on your computer or mobile device. So, it is sensible to look for a web-based EDI provider that uses cloud technology in the EDI solution because it can make a massive difference. The cloud makes EDI software lighter and faster for the end user. It also provides secure storage for your valuable EDI data that is monitored 24 by 7, therefore lowering the risk of a security breach that could occur if the data is stored on multiple devices. Scalability Web-based EDI software is amazingly flexible and built to scale. Some of the providers offer full access to enterprise level features even if you have a small company with minimal EDI transactions. Nonetheless, large enterprises can rely on web-based EDI to handle huge volumes of EDI transactions with ease because the system is designed to support thousands of businesses with regular network upgrades to newer technologies. Quick solution. In business, time is money and with cost effective EDI solutions readily available, it makes more sense to get started with EDI in minutes rather than waiting weeks or months to develop an in-house EDI system. Almost every internet-based EDI solution only requires 
an email address and internet access to get started. Now let us discuss about the overall disadvantages of EDI. High setup cost, setup and maintenance of few standard formats of EDI is expensive. Time consuming, initial setup of EDI is time consuming. Transition of EDI standard, the business process entirely depends on EDI standard format therefore if the standard format is changed then the business process has to be changed accordingly. Enhanced electronic protection, an EDI enabled system needs enhanced electronic protection and security from viruses, hacking, malware etc. Staff training cost, staff has to be properly trained technically in order to run EDI enabled software, hence investment has to be done in training the staff. Backup, proper backup should be maintained as the entire data depends on EDI and in case of any crash of EDI system, it is mandatory to maintain proper backup of data and extra cost is a requisite. Limit trading partners, some organization do not encourage having business relationship with the ones which do not use EDI. For example, Walmart gives preference to business with those organization which uses EDI. Now, let us summarize what we have seen in this topic. Conclusion, all types of EDI faces the same challenges as traditional EDI although the future holds the promise of a complete technical solution. As a result, technology by itself will not be the motivating force for small and medium sized companies to invest. Instead, a future with the promise of lower cost, increased benefits and a return on investment within a year may attract the attention and interest. Thank you.